Hello you all, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad from Radko Taro and uh, in this whole video we're going to look into Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and as well Taurus Rising weekly general tarot reading March 22nd up until March 28th, 2021 and uh, if you find yourself interested uh, in a personal reading with me or you do want to take my tarot classes uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to see a link to my website where you can view and uh, purchase either or both of these services. So uh, with that being set aside, moving to the Taurus general reading of the week and uh, the first card we do have for Taurus, that is going to be the Three of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have uh, the Magician followed by uh, the Queen of Swords. Afterwards, what we do have for you, Taurus, that is going to be the Nine of Wands. And uh, the last one for you, that will be the Hierophant here. So, the week will start with rather slow pace for you. But that is going to pay off uh, into the development of the week itself in a very large portion. And uh, starting off with the slow pace, that is because we do have the Three of Pentacles. Just hold on a second. That is because we do have the Three of Pentacles here. And instead of uh, rushing your things through at the start of the week here, Three of Pentacles does suggest, guys, that you will have the option or the opportunity to seek a support. To support that is going to help you develop even further than say what you have initially anticipated or will help you to um, develop in a field that is otherwise quite difficult for you to develop. Uh, Three of Pentacles does suggest that at that stage, at the very early stages of the week, you are to enter in some kind of a cooperations. You are going to have a, a very fruitful discussions about how you are to proceed forward with your endeavor, discussion about your relationship, discussion about your uh, project, discussion about your career as well. It's not excluded that that is going to be a, a raised discussion or a promotion discussion as well. Uh, now, these discussions, though, are going to carry on certain criticism that you are going to address, you are to be addressed with as well. And all of that criticism, as we do have the Three of Pentacles, is going to be quite constructive. So instead of uh, playing the victim, instead of uh, being quick to, um, to get yourself mad about it, uh, you should listen to what people got to say to you, especially if that is a, a, a partner of, uh, of life of yours or a boss, you know, or a supervisor or a friend, family as well. Because you do have a lot to improve with yourself and with things you do as others as well. So they also have a lot to improve and that's why you should not um, withhold or muffle your uh, your criticism to people as well, but it needs to be constructive once again. If you are to criticize something, suggests a solution, because I, I am saying it too too often. Because a uh, criticism of some sort of, of sort of like uh, you suck is not a criticism at all. If you are to say that, say why and say what should be done to be improved. And uh, right after this accumulation of a support and um, like I said, corporations as well as the uh, discussions, we move to the magician and the magician here points that after the accumulation of, uh, of that support, I will call it, uh, this is where the first step into improvements are to be placed. That is because the magician here uh, suggests that at this stage of the week, Taurus, you are going to now incorporate everything you have learned into your things, into your relationship or into your, uh, into your career, maybe in both places as well. And your actions are going to be supported with a very strong and unyielding, if I may say it that way, determination. So people, when they look at you, they will see that what you are doing, you truly mean it. And not just only mean it, but you are convinced into, um, into its development. That will allow you to increase your personal sovereignty. So what is yours is yours. And um, well, it has more to that as well, but it is very difficult to describe. Oh, I would say it that way. 
whoever tried to change you before, now at this stage are gonna start seeing what unpolished diamond you are and they are going to start accepting you more as what you truly are. And that will allow you to attract the right people around, the right person to be in a relationship with, the right customer, the right partner in business, you know, the right friends and so on and so forth. And as the magician is, um, is, is representative of Mercury as well in astrology, because everybody loves astrology, uh, the magician also is associated with a, a very well-developed communicational skills and that communicational skills that needs to be placed in action here. So if you do want to negotiate your promotion, you can negotiate the hell out of it this week or your future relationship, same thing, or something that you want to, to do, like a holiday with friends, same thing. It's just whatever you want to negotiate throughout the week, you can negotiate it the hell out of it, and especially well at the start of the week itself. And right after you do start developing yourself through the magician, you are start making the magic happen out there. Uh, we do have the Queen of Swords, and that is pretty much a person that steps in into your environment. And Queen of Swords here appears to be a very valuable ally. And that is something like a trump, like an ace that you can use further into the future. What, what I do believe is going to happen is, is that this person is going to come about, is going to accolade you for your work, for your job, for how you are dealing with life in general. And will tell you, you know, whenever you need me, just give me a call. Um, Queen of Swords, it may not be just only a woman, right? It could be as well a man, but these people, they are very, I don't know if I should use assertive or, or I should use emancipated. These people, they, whenever there is an issue or a problem, instead of freaking out, they analyze the problem very quickly and find the right measures for it. Whatever the Queen of Swords wants to push through, she can push through. And that's why it's a very, very valuable ally, especially if that's a lawyer uh, of yours, especially if that's a, a, a business partner of yours, especially if that's a, say, couples therapist of yours. Whenever you need a help, you do have that very, val very valuable ally that definitely is going to help you with whatever you are going through now. But, but you need to know that is only one jail-free car. Once you burn it, no going back to it. So be uh, mindful whenever you are to use the help of this individual. And right after its appearance here, we do have the Nine of Wands. And now I will backtrack a little bit because it's not just only that the Queen of Swords, that individual is going to step up and will say, you know, whenever you need something, just give me a call or, you know, shout out about it. But also it's going to give you suggestions about your things, you know, about your relationship, for example, or about your career. And those suggestions are going to seem and sound as well very reasonable suggestions. They, they are not going to be criticism at all, just suggestions how to improve. And that's what happens here into the Nine of Wands. Because the Nine of Wands uh, stands for a, uh, a conscious changes that you alone are going to incorporate into your life change a little bit, you know, how you deal with your professional endeavors that are going to make dealing with them much more easy and as well much more pleasant. Same thing goes for friendships and uh, relationships. Now, one thing I want to say about those that are single here, um, because this is some kind of a, a private case, that is something we do have as an expression in our country, when something is, when you want to explain a thing that does not relate to everybody, but to a small um, cluster of people, and uh, well, single people are not small, small cluster, but they're definitely not everybody around. Uh, every Taurus around, and uh, you single Tauruses with the, the uh, with the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Wands, uh, that will be an individual that pretty much tells you straight away why you cannot find love right now. And believe it or not, it will be something that you can alter with. And uh, with the Nine of Wands, it is pretty much the altering of what you can, you, you can change within your environment or within yourself. 
and uh, because with the Alistair Crowley's deck, Nine of Wands is the connection in between the sun and the moon, and there it is pretty much interpreted for those that are single as finding your half or something that can be your half in a sense of that's you know the the bondage in between the man and the woman. And yeah, I mean, you can you can definitely find yourself a suitor should you incorporate those conscious change and changes of your environment, for example, change your clothing, change your social circle, makeup, etc., etc. And at the end, uh, here we are. Uh, you are ending up the week with uh, the uh, hierophant. Man, so hierophant, such a broad card at that point, and it it literally can relate to everything. And uh, the most general thing it is a backtracking as uh, we start with the uh, conversations with support, we start with uh, these discussions that you're going to have. And uh, here at the end of the week, we do have a similar things, but this time around, instead of facing a criticism, this time around, that is going to be, these uh, discussions are going to be like a benevolent support of yours where you are discussing the problems that you may encounter in the future or that you are encountering right now. And everybody that is involved into that discussion is contributing for the resolution of the problem. Therefore, the problem is going to be resolved within the framework of already existing envi environments. Now, um, the Hierophant, it's interpreted in a very different way when it relates to uh, personal life, like personal experiences, love, romance, friendship, etc., etc., and when we're talking about career as well. So, uh, when, if uh, the end of the week is very romantic for you, then the Hierophant here suggests that the, uh, how can I say, the mutual reliability and support and as well trust in between you and the person that you are dealing with is going to improve big time and also uh when when we are dealing with if it has more a career shade at the end of the week uh for you taurus then the hierophant suggests that what you are doing you are gonna feel not just only natural but like a part of your life and you, at that stage you ain't going to concern yourself about money and about finances they my friends are gonna find you on their own accord for you are gonna be very good at what you are doing at that stage so that being said, Taurus, this was your a weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.